Hi, I'm Tom. I'm the creator of Zero to Finals. I work as a GP two days a week and I have a special interest in how to learn medicine and teaching medicine. In this video, I want to talk about a very important concept, which is the difference between formative and summative assessments. This is really essential when preparing for exams. I'll start with a brief story. I had a student contact me after he failed his medical school finals and he said, look, I want to make sure I'm doing everything right so that I pass on the next sitting. So I started talking to him and discussing his strategy and when I was talking about things like self-testing and tracking, it soon became clear that he wasn't doing any self-assessment or any testing and it turned out that he had a fear as he was going through that when he self-tested, he wouldn't get very good results. And as a result, he put that off and thought, I'll just read a bit more. I'll just do a bit more studying. Then I'll test myself just before I go in and sit my exams. And what happened was the first time he figured out or the first time he got feedback that his revision strategy wasn't effective was when he sat his finals. So This is a really good example of where it's essential to test yourself in the lead up to the exam so that the the time that you find out your strategy is not working is not the exam that really matters. So let's go on to formative versus summative exams. Formative assessments are ones that are useful for feedback and for gaining knowledge not actually to determine whether you progress or whether you pass or fail. Formative assessments are useful for practice and preparation and summative assessments are the ones that actually count. They're the the grades that determine whether you go through to the next stage of your training, whether you qualify, um, you know, whether you, you get the, um, you get the qualification. So formative tests are a bit like training in a gym in preparation for an Olympic event. When you've got somebody, say, who's, uh, say, an Olympic rower, they're going to spend a lot of time practicing that activity, doing rowing races, trying to beat their best times, and training. These are all formative events. And then the summative events are at the Olympic Games where they actually race against other rowers. When you're preparing for exams, it's essential to implement as much formative assessment as you possibly can. Not only because testing yourself actually improves your learning, improves your retention of information and helps you to retain that information for longer, but also because it provides you really useful feedback to tell you whether you're uh, on the right track and whether your revision strategy is working. Let's say you have a glaring weakness in renal medicine and you spend your time studying different topics, not really knowing where to put your energy. And then when your exam comes around, there's a lot of questions on renal medicine and you have a weakness there and you fail the exam. Because you didn't do any formative tests, you didn't identify that renal medicine is a weakness for you. And it's only in the final exam that that became apparent. This is a bit of a failure when in reality what should have happened is you should have been testing yourself months and then weeks before the exam, identifying your weak areas, addressing them and then retesting yourself and through constant repetition, constant feedback and addressing your weaknesses, then when the exam rolls around, the weeks before the exam You'll have had lots of formative tests saying, yes, you're on the right track. Yes, you're strong in all the areas you need to be. And then when the exam rolls around, you're pretty confident and you know what to expect as a result from the final exam. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, You can find practice questions to do exactly this on the members website at members.zerotofinals.com. And I'll see you in the next video.